Hi everyone, I'm Roland Tagufa and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Our topic is still about uh, stairs and railings and it's part 12 now of our tutorial. Now today uh, we're going to continue the topic that uh, we have uh, started yesterday. And uh, yesterday we stopped at uh, doing these uh, balusters and uh, stairs and uh, we didn't uh, complete it because that uh, video is very long it will take me one hour to finish and our today's topic we're going to make this uh, thread support guys before i continue if you are new to my channel please uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe all right guys let's get started Now guys, uh, let's continue our uh, tutorial about these uh, balusters per thread on stair. And uh, yesterday we have uh, completed this uh, rail. And now next that we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to our home tab. In home tab. And then uh, I'm going to these families, new. And then in family new, I'll uh, click this English. And then I'm going to make uh, a baluster post. And then open. And then in baluster post, I'm going to this uh, uh, reference level. And then in reference level, I'm going to first uh, change our unit, UN. And then uh, UN length. And then change this length into meters. And then two decimal places. And then OK. OK. Now next that uh, we're going to do is uh, we're going to make an extrusion. So I'll make an extrusion. And uh, I'll make a rectangle. Rectangle like this. And then... Uh, Next, uh, I'm going to make a dimension. Make a dimension there. And here also. And uh, I'm going to make this one parametric. So, I'll create a parameter. And I'll name it length, L. And then, uh, I'll make this length uh, around uh, 1.5. And then here, also, I'm going to create a width. And I'll name this one W. And then OK. And then I'll make this as uh, point 0.1. And there is our extrusion. So, I'm going to make an extrusion from 0 to negative 0.20 and then uh, apply and then ok and then uh, in view this is like this now next that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open this front and in this front I'm going to make also create an extrusion and I'll select pick a plane pick a plane I'm selecting this as my work plane and next is uh, I'm going to make a line line from here and I think I'm going to make this one 1 point, uh, 1 1.3 or 1.2 1.3 1.2 and then uh, I'll go and uh, select this uh, start and arc reduce and I'll make it 45 degrees and then make it like this and then line going here and also I'm going there 
And next, uh, I'm going to make a line again. Maybe from here, I'll make it uh, point, uh, 0 0.5, and then make it 45 degrees. And I'll make it like this. And then uh, I'll make a uh, trim extend the corner. Make it here and there. And here also and here. And then uh, next is uh, I'm going to make this one 0.5. And then uh, finish this. And then uh, I'll go to view. And it is like this. So I think uh, I need to place this one also point uh, one. Apply. And then uh, next is uh, I'm going to change this solid. I'll make it void. Void. Then apply. And then there it is. Now guys, uh, next that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to cut this uh, uh, void that uh, we have uh, created. I'll go to this uh, cut. Cut. Cut geometry. And then uh, cut this one. And there is our uh, thread support. Now next that I'm going to do is I'm going to this reference level and from reference level I'm going to rotate this to 1 degrees. So I just uh, select this and uh, select this one and then I'll go to this uh, rotate rotate and then I'll place this uh, here. And then uh, I'll just uh, select this straight and I'll place this angle negative 1 degrees and then enter. And then uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're going to move this uh, to 185, uh, 0.85. So I'll select this and select this one. And then uh, move and uh, I place this at uh, around uh, 0.85 and then hit enter and there it is it is uh, 0.85 away from our center line and then uh, because we have moved that uh, center line there at 0.75 so there is a 10 gap to, to touch the rail and that is equivalent to 0.85 so now uh, next that I'm going to do I'm going to save this save and uh, I'll name this one uh, baluster uh, red support and then option and I'll make it one and then okay and then save and then uh, next that I'm going to do I'll load this into project load just to check if it's okay and then okay and then uh, I'll go to our 3d and in 3d I will select this A baluster that uh, left side custom rail that we have created and then I'll go to edit type and then in edit type I'll go to this baluster placement and then edit and then in edit I'm going to change this uh, baluster family square to that uh, baluster thread support that uh, we have just created there and then apply and then uh, Okay, and then uh, make this one 3D. And 
and there it is our baluster support now it's touching this uh, pipe now uh, what we need to do is uh, again we need to customize this one more so so that uh, this one will uh, sit properly and again we need to move this one uh, and place this one up to this uh, bottom of our stairs so next that I'm going to do I'll go back to that uh, reference level and then uh, in reference level uh, I'm going to create again another extrusion and then uh, in extrusion I'm going to click, click create a line I'll create a line from this center and going to this center and then uh, I'll go and that uh, pick a line I'll pick a line and I'll make I'll make an offset of uh, 0 0.03 and 0 0.03 here and then I'll delete this delete this delete I have made a lot of uh, okay undo maybe here also I'm gonna do and then uh, I think this is uh, too much there is a uh, 0.3 point, point 0.5 point 0.5 point this is point 0.2 here I'm going to make a line here and then also this line Uh, align here and then this one I'll align it also here and then uh, I'll finish this and then uh, again I need to see it in the view and it is like this so uh, next time going to do is uh, we're going again to convert this into void and make it void then apply and then uh, here I'll just uh, again cut and then uh, cut it there and there it is our uh, support uh, thread support and then uh, next that I'm going to do I'm going to this uh, level F and then uh, I'm going to select select all this and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move this from this to down I'll move it uh, point 0.10 there it is it is already moved point 0.10 and uh, you can see it in view like this still the same and uh, the video is not disturbed then again I will load it into project I'll save it and load it into project and then uh, overwrite existing one and then I'll go to 3D and there is our product now our uh, real support is already sitting our uh, baluster is already sitting the, our rail is already sitting on this uh, to check it more I'm going to this level one and I'll make a section it's like uh, it's not sitting well so just uh, take it up to here and then uh, again double click this and there it is 
so i need to bring this down more di from here to here how much so 0 0.04 so i need to bring this down more up to 0 0.04 so i'll again move this move and uh, move it at 0 0.04 0.04 and then uh, again uh, save and then load it into project and then overwrite existing one and go to 3D and there it is our uh, rail is uh, now sitting on this uh, our thread is sitting now on that uh, support that we have just created now again, I need to uh, place uh, what you call this uh, a material. I again go back, go back to that uh, reference level, and then I'm going to select this. And then uh, there is uh, uh, what you call this associate family parameter, and then I'll create one. And uh, I will name it uh, thread. Support. Material. And then OK. And then OK. And there uh, it is here and i can place a material here and uh, i'm going to select stainless steel stainless uh, metal stainless steel polish in this one and just bring this up then apply then okay then apply then okay and then load it to project again yeah and here is uh, our view in 3d now we have uh, created the uh, now our uh, materials and this uh, real support now this real support now is sitting there here it is Now guys, uh, since we have already uh, completed our uh, thread support and this rail, next that we will uh, gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, support this. We will make a post going up from this rail and then going down up to the floor. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to level 1. And then uh, next is uh, we're going to make a view. Make a camera and then I'm going to make a view from his from this side and then uh, I'll just uh, drag this up here and then uh, drag this up also and here is our view now uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to export this in CAD file so we're gonna export this and after exporting this in CAD, we're going to import it in generic model so so that we can uh, make a customized uh, end post. So now next is uh, I'm going to just say see realistic and then I'll go to this uh, file and then uh, export and then CAD and then drawings. And then uh, I'll just uh, hit this next and then... Uh, I have already created this uh, earlier. I'll just adapt this uh, baluster part 12 uh, thread support and then OK and then yes and then uh, close. And then we have already exported that one in uh, in our uh, in our uh, CAD form. So next is uh, we're going to go to this home and then in home we need to create new families and then English and then I'm going to create a generic model so generic model and then open
Uh, next that uh, we will do is uh, we're going to uh, import this uh, CAD file that we just exported. So go to this uh, insert tab and then import CAD. And then I will select this uh, import uh, uh, baluster thread support 3D view. And then open. And then here is our form. So I'll unlock it. And then I'm going to move it from this center going here. So I'll just uh, move it up to this center. Just move it. Move it again. And there. So uh, next, uh, we'll view this in uh, 3D. So it is like this. And also, I want to see this in uh, left front view. Uh, front. Maybe it's like this. And then uh, in front, so now uh, I'll go to this uh, 3D view. Or we already have this uh, here. So now in our uh, reference level, I'm going to rename this uh, uh, reference plane. So I'll rename it ref1. And then uh, next is uh, we're going to make a sweep. We'll create a sweep. I'll create a sweep. And then uh, it gets. And uh, first, we're going to set our uh, work plane. I'll set it a uh, work plane. I will set it at our reference uh, work plane 1. And then OK. And then uh, I'll just uh, go and uh, check this front. And then open. And then uh, next time, I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make our... Uh, baluster so i'll just uh, create a line going up make it uh, parallel to this plane and then uh, maybe i'll make it uh, 500 just uh, type 500 then uh, go to this uh, uh, start and reduce art and then uh, go straight and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going back to this arts and radius arts maybe I'll make it uh, Seven hundred, and I'll exactly make it as uh, this height of that baluster that uh, we have here. So now there, and then I'll bring it down up to this uh, floor level. I'll bring it down. Oh, line, make it line, and then bring it down up to this uh, floor level, and then uh, just hit escape, and then uh, we'll finish this mode. And this uh, finish mode. And then uh, I'll go to this uh, profile. And sketch the profile. And I'll view it in 3D view. And there it is. We're gonna make our circle. So our unit is in millimeter. So uh, my the thickness of our pipe is uh, 4 inches. That is 100 millimeter. I'll... Select this 50 and then uh, again we need to finish this uh, edit mode and then again uh, finish this uh, again edit mode and there it is here is our pipe that uh, we're gonna place it in our uh, drawing so uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, let's check if this is uh, exactly at the top so we'll go to reference and uh, we'll set our view range and uh, maybe I want this 10,000 and then 10,000 also here 
and then apply and there we saw okay and then uh, we need to slightly move this it's out of uh, the range Now I think it's okay. And then in our uh, front view, it is like this. And in left view, it is like that. And in our uh, front, uh, left, front. Okay. Now it is uh, now aligned. And then the next that uh, we will do is uh, we're going to open a post. So we're gonna go to this uh, home. And then again, family. And then in family, I will go to this English. And we're going to make a metric baluster post. So, baluster post. And then, okay. Now, next, uh, I'll go back to that uh, one that we have just created. I'll go back to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into project. I will load it. And I will load it into this uh, family 6 that uh, we had just opened. So, load. And then, uh, okay, I'll go back. That is not good. So I'll go back here because this one is coming also. So I need to remove that. So I'll go to this uh, 3D and then just click this. And I will uh, make this one visible, invisible. So I'll create, I'll just click this and check so that this one will not come when we're going to load it into project. So uh, now, uh, I think we need to save this first. I save. And I will name it uh, Generic Model and Post. I have already created this earlier. I'll just select that one and change it. And then I'll just uh, make it one. And then OK. And then save. And then yes, we're going to replace it. And this is our uh, new uh, uh, gener Generic Model uh, Post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into project, load, and then load it into this family 6. Now there it is. We have this one. So I'll just place this one here. And then uh, I'll go to this uh, left. Just select this. Select and hit tab. So here. Then what I'm going to do is just uh, move this, move, move it down up to this point. And then uh, again, uh, I'll check this one in front. This should be also move, move, and uh, place this one exactly here. Now, uh, move it. Where is the center? Move. Uh, here is the center. Okay, move it there. And then uh, next, uh, I'll go back to this left. And then uh, I need to move this one because... Uh, our uh, stair is uh, offset, offset uh, 15 cm, so I need to also move this up to 15 cm. Move this uh, 150. And then uh, I'm going to move this up also. Move. And uh, move this one 160. And then there it is. And... Uh, think we need to save this save and uh, we'll name this one end post I have already created this earlier I just repeated it and then uh, just make it one and then okay and then save and then uh, yes we're gonna replace it and then uh, now next is uh, we're gonna load this into project our project is part 12 baluster thread support so I'll load it and then OK. And then override existing. Then I'll go to this uh, 
3D. And then uh, I'll select this uh, baluster that we have just uh, created. And then I'll go to this edit type. And in edit type, uh, I'll go to this edit. And then uh, next is uh, we're gonna place this uh, into this end post. I'll just select this end post and check this end post that uh, we have just created. And then uh, this is also offset there 180 plus 5, 100, no, so 0.90. And then uh, apply because the center of this is 0.95. If we will place it there at exactly at the corner, just like we have done it there, this is 0.85. So plus the center of uh, the pipe, uh, uh, 5 centimeters. So equivalent to now 0.90 meters. And then OK. And then apply. And then OK. And there it is, guys. Here is our post that we have just created. You can further, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, improve this one. You can place a plate there so that this is looking nice. And you can also place a place uh, on this side. So uh, now, guys, I, I forgot to uh, place a material from this uh, uh, end post that uh, we have created so we need to apply a material for this so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to back to our uh, uh, generic model and then uh, go to this 3d and then uh, I click this and then here there is material uh, by category and then I'll go and then uh, I'm going to make a parametric uh, material so new parameter and uh, I will name it uh, end post material so and then uh, okay and then okay now I'm going go to this uh, our uh, family type and in family type I'm going to select the material and then uh, I'm going to select steel. I think uh, we need stainless steel. We have also made a stainless steel there. So I think we need to make it the same. So here, this is stainless steel. And then uh, I'll just bring it up. Then apply. Then OK. Then apply. Then OK. Now next, uh, we're going to load this again into our project. Load it and load it to this end post and then OK and then overwrite existing and then uh, save this and then next is uh, we're gonna load this into project load and then OK and then overwrite existing and then uh, in 3D it is like this now materials was uh, is already created. We have this stainless uh, steel material. So we need to make it all the same materials. And uh, now all of our uh, models are done. And guys, uh, that's it for today. And see you on my next video. Bye bye, guys. Allah Hafiz. Fir Milenge. Till we meet again.